Deus venit.
Good evening, everyone. I apologize for the delayed start. We've had uh, uh, the Easter Vigil Mass at Our Ladies, and it's, uh, it took two hours. So um, we will start uh, out by the fire. So if you'd like to make your way out um, to the fire, hopefully Father will be here shortly. Um, if you've got candles, um, you've been given candles already, have you? So take them with you, but we will light them as you come into church. So I'll bring the Easter candle in um, uh, to the door firstly, and then, half, and then at halfway up the, the aisle, um, we'll light the candles from there. So, um, uh, so don't light them until we get into the church at that point. Thank you. Water or consecrated water? Consecrated water. Because of the using during the, yeah. the, uh, the water for baptism, yeah? Yeah. Must. Ten o'clock will be finished. You got another man. <laughs> you got one more? people already or when you, you give Thank you. 
Нет. One hour is the food during the night. Oh, today, of course, we lost. My mass is the what for 6.30. Ready, boys? Yes, could you mention to me? Ready? Come on, let's go. <coughs> Amen. Since It's a triumph of a death. Living in God. Let us pray. Who through your son showed upon faith the glory. We pray and grant that by these Paschal celebrations, we may be so inflamed with the heavenly desires that with the minds we may appear, we may attain festivities of unending splendor. Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to him, and all ages, to him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. 
by his holy and glorious wounds may Christ the Lord guard us and protect us amen May the light of Christ rising in glory dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Stand. Or something to put a charcoal. We have some tongue. I'll forget about it. Hmm. Leave it. We now go in procession to the church. At the entrance of the church. Deacon will announce first Lumen Christi and we say Deo Gracia and then we move into the church. In the middle of the church he will say a second time Lumen Christi and we respond Deo Gracia and then we all light our candles and then in front of the altar a third time the proclamation and then we listen to the exalted Easter proclamation. Okay, so now follow us. And the altar service and they can first put out the fire. fire. Yeah. You all need to have a candle with you. Get from okay, and then you have to light from there and distribute to the people. So as soon as the door is open, get a hold of a candle. <coughs> Lumen Christi, Deo Gracia.
Lumen Christi. Deo gracia. Lumen Christi, Deo Gracia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may proclaim his paschal praise worthily and well in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
You may put off your candles now. Dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with the quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people and in these last days has sent us his son as our redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete his paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. <coughs> Now the earth was a formless void. There was darkness over the deep, and God's spirit hovered over the water. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that light was good, and God divided light from darkness. God called light day, and darkness he called night. Evening came, and morning came, the first day. God said, let there be a vault in the waters to divide the waters in two. And so it was. God made the vault, and it divided the waters above the vault from the waters under the vault. God called the vault heaven. Evening came, and morning came, the second day. God said, let the waters under heaven come together into a single mass, and let dry land appear. And so it was. God called the dry land earth, and the mass of waters seas. And God saw that it was good. God said, let the earth produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and fruit trees bearing fruit with their seed inside on the earth. And so it was. The earth produced vegetation, plants bearing seed in their several kinds, and trees bearing fruit with their seed inside in their several kinds. God saw that it was good. Evening came and morning came the third day. God said, let there be lights in the vault of heaven to divide day from night and let them indicate festivals, days and years. Let them be lights in the vault of heaven to shine on the earth. And so it was. God made the two great lights, the greater light to govern the day, the smaller light to govern the night, and the stars. God set them in the vault of heaven to shine on the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to divide light from darkness. God saw that it was good. Evening came and morning came the fourth day. God said, let the waters teem with living creatures and let birds fly above the earth within the vault of heaven. And so it was. God created great sea serpents and every kind of living creature with which the waters teem and every kind of winged creature God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, 
multiply and fill the waters of the seas and let the birds multiply upon the earth. Evening came and morning came the fifth day. God said, let the earth produce every kind of living creature, cattle, reptiles, and every kind of wild beast. And so it was. God made every kind of wild beast, every kind of cattle, and every kind of land reptile. God saw that it was good. God said, let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and conquer it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, and all living animals on the earth. God said, See, I give you all the seed-bearing plants that are upon the whole earth, and all the trees with seed-bearing fruit. This shall be your food. To all wild beasts, all birds of heaven, and all living reptiles on the earth, I give all the foliage of plants for food. And so it was. God saw all he had made, and indeed it was very good. Evening came, and morning came, the sixth day. Thus, heaven and earth were completed with all their array. On the seventh day, God completed the work he had been doing. He rested on the seventh day after all the work he had been doing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The sponsorial psalm. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are, clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You founded the earth on its base to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The waters stood higher than the mountains. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From the branches they sing their song. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. From your dwelling you water the hills. Earth drinks its fill of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve man's needs. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. Bless the Lord, my soul. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, May those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages,
Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, who lives and who reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Czytanie z Księgi Wyjścia. Pan rzekł do Mojżesza, Czemu głośno wołasz do mnie? Powiedz synom Izraela, niech ruszają w drogę. Ty zaś podnieś swą laskę i wyciągnij rękę nad morze i rozdziel je na dwoje, a wejdą synowie Izraela w środek na suchą ziemię. Ja natomiast uczynię upartymi serca Egipcjan, że pójdą za nimi. Wtedy okażą moją potęgę wobec Faraona, całe wojska jego, rydwanuch i wszystkich jego jeźdźców. A gdy okaże moją potęgę wobec Faraona, jego rydwanów i jeźdźców, wtedy poznają Egipcjanie, że ja jestem Pan. Anioł Boży, który szedł na przecie wojsk izraelskich, zmienił miejsce i szedł na ich tyłach. Słup obłoku również przeszedł z przodu i zajął ich tyły, stając między wojskiem egipskim a wojskiem izraelskim. I tam był obok ciemnością, tu zaś oświecał noc. I nie zbliżyli się jedni do drugich przez całą noc. Mojżesz wyciągnął rękę nad morze, a pan cofnął wody gwałtownym wiatrem wschodnim, który wiał przez całą noc i uczynił morze suchą ziemią. Wody się rozstąpiły, a synowie Izraela szli przez środek morza po suchej ziemi, mając mur z wód po prawej i po lewej stronie. Egipcjanie ścigali ich. Wszystkie konie Faraona, jego rydwany i jeźdźcy ciągnęli za nimi w środek morza. O świcie spojrzał Pan ze słupa ognia i ze słupa obłoku na wojsko egipskie i zmusił je do ucieczki i zatrzymał koła ich rydwanów, tak, że z wielką trudnością mogli się naprzód posuwać. Egipcjanie krzyknęli, uciekajmy przed Izraelem, bo w jego obronie Pan walczy z Egipcjanami. A Pan rzekł do Mojżesza, wyciągnij rękę nad morze, aby wody zalały Egipcjan, ich rydwany i jeźdźców. Wyciągnął Mojżesz rękę nad morze, które o brzasku dnia wróciło na swoje miejsce. Egipcjanie uciekając biegli naprzeciw falom i pogrążył ich Pan pośrodku morza. Powracające fale zatopiły rydwanów i jeźdźców całego wojska Faraona, które weszło w morze ścigając synów Izraela. Nie ocalał z nich ani jeden. Synowie zaś Izraela szli po suchym dnie morskim, mając mur z wód po prawej i po lewej stronie. W tym to dniu wybawił Pan Izraela z rąk Egipcjan i widzieli Izraelici martwych Egipcjan na brzegu morza. Gdy Izraelici widzieli wielkie dzieło, którego dokonał Pan wobec Egipcjan, ulękli się Pana i uwierzyli Jemu oraz Jego słudze Mojżeszowi. Wtedy Mojżesz i synowie Izraela razem z nimi śpiewali taką pieśń ku czci Pana. Śpiewajmy Panu, który moc Śpiewajmy Panu, który moc okazał. Będę śpiewał na cześć Pana, który wspaniale swą potęgę okazał. Gdy konia i jeźdźca Pogrążył w morskiej przepaści. Śpiewajmy Panu, który moc okazał. Pan jest moją mocą i źródłem męstwa. Jemu zawdzięczam moje ocalenie. On, bo 
Bogiem moim uwielbiać Go będę. On Bogiem Ojca mego będę Go wywyższał. Śpiewajmy Panu, który moc okazał. Rzucił w morze rydwany Faraona i jego wojsko. Wybrani wodzowie zginęli w Morzu Czerwonym. Przepaści ich ogarnęły, jak głaz runęli w głębinę. Śpiewajmy Panu, który moc okazał. Wyprowadziłeś lud swój i osadziłeś na górze Twojego dziedzictwa. W miejscu, które uczyniłeś swym mieszkaniem, Pan Bóg jest królem na zawsze, na wieki. Śpiewajmy Panu, który moc okazał. Czasach jaśnieją Twoje dawne cuda. Niegdyś swoją mocą wybawiłeś jeden naród od prześladowań Faraona i przeprowadziłeś go przez Morze Czerwone. Obecnie przez wodę chrztu prowadzić wszystkie narody do zbawienia. Spraw, aby cała ludzkość weszła do liczby synów Abrahama i dostąpiła godności ludu wybranego. Przez Chrystusa, Pana naszego. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, O come to the water, all you who are thirsty, Though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost, wine and milk. Why spend money on what is not bread, your wages on what fails to satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and you will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention. Come to me, listen, and your soul will live. With you I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favours promised to David. See, I have made of you a witness to the peoples, a leader and a master of the nations. See, you will summon a nation you never knew, Those unknown will come hurrying to you for the sake of the Lord your God, of the Holy One of Israel, who will glorify you. Seek the Lord while he is still to be found. Call to him while he is still near. Let the wicked man abandon his way, the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn back to the Lord who will take pity on him to our God who is rich in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, the heavens are as high above earth as my ways are above your ways, my thoughts above your thoughts. Yes, as the rain and the snow come <coughs> down from the heavens, and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield 
and giving growth to provide seed for the sower and bread for the eating. So the word that goes from my mouth does not return to me empty without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Truly God is my salvation. I trust. I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my saviour. With water you will draw, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy, joy you will draw water, water from the wells of the salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples, declare the greatness of his name. With, with joy, joy you will draw water, water from the wells of the salvation. Sing a psalm to the Lord. For he has done glorious deeds, made them known to make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. With joy with your waters from the wells of the salvation. Please stand. O oh God, who by the pages of both the Testaments instruct and prepare us to celebrate the Paschal Mystery, grant that we may comprehend your mercy so that the gifts we receive from you this night may confirm our hope of the gifts to come. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. we shall now sing the Gloria.
Let us pray. O oh God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that, renewed in body and mind, we may render you undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please sit. <coughs> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in his resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy this sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he has finished with sin. But we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. When he died, he died once for all to sin. So his life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. According to Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary of Magdala, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices with which to go and anoint him. And very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb, just as the sun was rising. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? But when they looked, they could see that the stone, which was very big, had already been rolled back. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man, in a white robe, seated on the right-hand side. And they were struck with amazement. But he said to them, There is no need for alarm. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See, here is the place where they laid him. 
that you must go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. It is there you will see him, just as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Słowa Ewangelii według świętego Marka. Po upływie szabatu Maria Magdalena, Maria, matka Jakuba i Salome nakupiły wonności, żeby pójść na namaścić Jezusa. Wczesnym rankiem w pierwszy dzień tygodnia przyszły do grobu, gdy słońce wzeszło, a mówiły między sobą to mam odsunie kamień od wejścia do grobu. Gdy jednak spojrzały, zauważyły, że kamień był odsunięty, a był bardzo duży. Weszły więc do grobu i ujrzały młodzieńca siedzącego po prawej stronie, ubranego w białą szatę i bardzo się przestraszyły. Lecz on rzekł do nich, nie bójcie się, Szukacie Jezusa z Nazaretu, ukrzyżowanego? Powstał, nie ma go tu. Oto miejsce, gdzie go złożyli. Lecz idźcie, powiedzcie jego uczniom i Piotrowi. Idzie przed wami do Galilei, tam go ujrzycie, jak wam powiedział. One wyszły i uciekły od grobu. Ogarnęło je bowiem zdumienie i przestrach. Nikomu też nic nie, nie oznajmiły, bo się bały. Oto słowo Pańskie. Słowa Ewangelii z głazu naszych. My brothers and sisters, the Easter Vigil Mass fills our hearts with the joy tonight for various reasons. First of all, the light of the Paschal candle burning brightly, the smell of the incense, the sounds of the bell the joyful Easter hymns sung by the choir and the gospel message of Christ's resurrection. Forty days of spiritual preparation comes to its completion today. It is interesting to note in the gospel passage that we just listened to, we heard the story of women who came to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body, but only to find the tomb empty. Now, these women could have chosen not to begin their journey to the tomb, as they knew there was an obstacle on the way. What was the obstacle? A large stone between them and their task. And yet, they decided to go and try it, rather than staying indoors, unlike the others who were hiding behind the locked doors in fear of the Jewish authority. Just as the stone sealing the tomb, they, it was an obstacle to the women. In the same way, there may be stones and rocks in our lives which prevent us from reaching out in faith to Jesus Christ to receive his gift of salvation. And these stones and rocks may come in different shapes and different size, whether they are big or small, 
they block our way. And they trap us in anxiety, doubt, worry, disappointment, grief, sadness, and a fear. And ultimately, they lead us to a loss of a faith. Faith in ourselves, faith in others, and a further loss of a faith and a belief in God. So today, we need to ask ourselves, what are the stones in my life I find? Are there times when I look at these stones standing in my way and I feel powerless and afraid? Do I feel that I am not strong enough to move these stones and wonder who will move them for me? If there are any stones or obstacles in your way today, be it come from your family or from relationship problems or financial stress, job loss or hostile co-workers, resentment within you or anger you experience, hatred towards someone, envy or pride or anything. What are those stones I find in my life? Please be aware that just as God rolled away the stones for these women, He is there to remove the stones and fill your life with faith, hope, peace and joy. There is no stone which God cannot remove from your life. No stone is too large or too heavy for him to remove from your path. And therefore, my brothers and sisters, may the joy of Easter that fills our hearts tonight help us to remove those stones that are holding us down, never allowing us to grow in our personal life or in our relationship with God and others. Tonight is not an end. As we continue our journey through the Easter season, in the upcoming days and weeks, may we continue to allow the Easter mysteries to convert our hearts and the reality of our everyday lives. We now enter into the third part of our liturgy, which is a baptismal liturgy. We bless the water and sprinkle upon us. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly invoke upon this fond the grace of God, the Almighty Father, that those from it are born anew may be numbered among the children of adoption in Christ. Almighty, ever-living God, be present by the mysteries of your great love and send forth the spirit of adoption to create the new peoples brought to birth for you in the font of baptism, so that what is to be carried out by our humble service may be brought to fulfillment by your mighty power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water your creation to show forth the grace of a baptism, O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood 
foreshadow of the regeneration so that from the mystery of one and the same element of a water would come an end to vice and the beginning of a virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass a dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people, set free from slavery to Pharaoh, would prefigure the people of the baptized. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature, created in your image, and washed clean through the sacrament of a baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to life of a newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this fond, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to new life with Him, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Spring of water, bless the Lord Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all the earth. Please light all your candles before we come to bless you. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with the Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so, now that our London observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of a holy baptism, by which we once renounced the Satan and his works, and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. So, I ask you, do you renounce Satan I do. and all his works I do. and all his empty show? I do. do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. do you renounce the lure of evil so that the sin may have no mastery over you? I do. do you renounce Satan, the author and the prince of a sin? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting? I do. 
May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. You can put off your candles and we continue with the bidding prayers. Inspired by the power and the wonder of a Christ's resurrection from the grave, we come to you, Father, with the hope and the confidence that on this great night you will hear our prayers. We pray for Pope Francis, that he may be blessed with the gifts of integrity, courage and humility as he feeds the flock that the Lord has entrusted to his care. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. <clears throat> In rising from the dead, Jesus has given us life. We pray that in our country and throughout the world, God's gift of life be treasured by all and that all human life be respected and protected. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for peace in our world. May the hope of the resurrection bring reconciliation and lasting peace to countries torn apart by conflict and war. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those received into the church at the Easter Vigil, supported by our prayers and encouraged by our witness. May they continue to grow in their understanding of the Paschal mystery. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Today, as we renew our baptismal promises, we pray to the Lord that he gives us the grace to strengthen our commitment to him and to the faith we profess. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the sick, the lonely, the needy, and all who are in pain of any kind that they may know the gentle touch of the risen Christ, who calls them to the freshness of hope, newness of life, and fullness of companionship. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that all our departed brothers and sisters, and all who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, may enjoy eternal life won for us by Christ on the cross at Calvary. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for us as we say, Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, grace, Lord, grace, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed are you among women, and, and the blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. 
we now add our own personal in petitions. Loving God, hear the prayer of your church as we celebrate with the joy the resurrection of your Son and grant to all humanity a renewed faith in your promise to new life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the offertory. in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that to my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and glory of his, his name, for our good and the good of all his, his holy church. church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give a thanks to the <coughs> Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation and at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night, above all, to load you at more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with a paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic house sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Merciful Father, we make a humble prayer and a petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to God, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope, David our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth and the Catholic and the Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servant, and all gathered here, those faith and devotion are known to you. From then we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of help and well-being, in hope and health and well-being, and praying the homage to you, to eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred night <coughs> of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and the martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. 
make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of his sins, do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of the Christ, your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and a kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and the blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and the heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servant, and have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a peace of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, you servants, who through sinners hope in your abundant mercies graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Bersilius, Peter, Facility, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us we beseech you into the company, not waiting our merit, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, <coughs> fill them with the life, bless them, and you bestow them upon us.
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine <coughs> teaching, we dare to sing. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ, who said to your apostles, <coughs> Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and you reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lo, I am not worthy that you should be under under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ to bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make you those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before we impart to this final blessing, a big thank you to all of you coming together this night to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you to Father Roman for celebrating this Mass for us with us. And I look forward to this Easter Vigil Mass every year to see our Polish community brothers and sisters joining us for the Eucharist with the beautiful singing, readings, and you can see the beautiful flowers arranged here. They came to support us this morning with our uh, volunteers to do a beautiful decoration of the church. Thank you to our Polish community for the love and support and joining us this night. Thank you to our choir for enhancing our liturgy with the singing, readers, Eucharistic ministers, and every operating degrees at the back, and preparing the new fire stand, and everyone who played a big role in celebrating this liturgy in a most lively manner. So thank you to everybody. And on behalf of Father Roman and David, wish you all a happy Easter. Bow your heads and you pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity 
and in his compassion defend you from every assault of a sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the price of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Come on, come here. Everybody, please remember during the night, it's the watches is the full to one hour. That the sleep is ah, the short. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget to collect your Easter eggs as you go out of the church. Oh, what a rock and roll. 
See, there might be a reason why they were moved around. Oh, we. What about tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, so could they put the. I'm just. Ignore me. Candles. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, it's. Now, yeah. That's not a problem at all. Well, because some of you, it's a, it's a very odd lighting, isn't it? It's very odd. I mean, I was thinking, God, where, can you see that now? And the light was shown in, because it was at that far end, I don't think it was spreading an even light over the music. No, no, no. Well, we'll know it. We'll know it again. We'll know it again. I did it when you watched some of the phone. Thank you.